We live in a stressful world, but we don't have to live in a stressful body. You already know from the previous chapter how EDTA can help detoxify us. In this second part, we will talk about how magnesium, a mineral attached to EDTA and metacardium suppositories, can help us cope with the causes and effects of chronic stress. Before we look at this mineral, let's learn a little more about how stress affects the body. Our nervous system has two settings. One, the parasympathetic system, is for normal everyday life, and the other, the sympathetic system, is for emergency situations. You've probably already heard about the emergency system. It's also called the fight or flight system. This is a very ancient system and it was designed by nature to help us deal with physically dangerous situations. Take a caveman for instance. There he is walking out of his cave one sunny morning minding his own business when out from behind a boulder jumps a large and very hungry tiger. In order to survive he's either going to have to run very fast or fight very hard. Thus the body, in its wisdom, gives the caveman every ounce of strength he's got. To do this, it takes energy away from any system not immediately involved in his survival and sends that energy to his arms if he's going to fight or his legs if he's going to run. Hence the term fight or flight. The most commonly cited example of a non-emergency system that is turned off by stress is the digestive system. After all, you don't need to digest your lunch if you're fighting for your life. The blood that would normally be in the stomach and intestines absorbing food is really better used in the arms and legs during an emergency. What else is turned off? In addition to digestion, immune function, sleep, sexual function, growth and repair are also all put on hold. After all, does a caveman really need to fight that nagging cold or get a good night's sleep, enjoy physical intimacy with his cave woman, or repair any injuries when he's dealing with a tiger? Of course not. Even the sense of touch is suppressed by stress. After all, it makes no sense to be distracted by pain when you're fighting for your life so stress dulls the sense of touch. It's called stress-induced analgesia. These are just a few of the systems that are turned off in response to stress, but the effects don't stop here. Stress also causes blood to clot. Here's how it happens. When the caveman is confronted by a tiger, his body knows that there is a good chance that he will be bitten or mauled and lose some blood. To keep him from bleeding to death, his body, therefore, makes his blood very sticky and on the verge of coagulation. This way, if he's injured, the blood will clot faster and he might not bleed to death. Unfortunately, sticky, nearly coagulated blood is harder to push through the arteries. This raises blood pressure and, in the long run, can cause a stroke or a heart attack. But remember, the caveman is only trying to survive the next five minutes. After he either fends off the tiger or makes his escape, he can calm down and his body can go back to normal. Once the stress of the tiger is gone, his body can go back to the business of digesting his food, fighting infections, repairing and replacing damaged tissue, enjoying physical intimacy with his cavewoman, taking a nap, and maintaining normal blood viscosity. But what would happen if the caveman had to deal with a tiger every hour? Well, you can imagine how over time his stress response alone could kill him, even if the tigers didn't. This is exactly what happens to most of us on a daily basis. Now, it's true that we don't often face tigers in the 21st century, but there are many other kinds of stresses. Work, family, bills, health concerns, mortgage payments, and traffic jams, to name just a few. All of these are stressors, modern-day tigers, if you will, and they never go away. While a lot of things have changed in the last few thousand years, our response to stress isn't one of them. Our bodies still equate stress with danger. 
There is only one emergency stress response system, and it doesn't differentiate between a tiger and a traffic jam. The epidemic of digestive, immune, sexual, and cardiovascular disorders added to the prevalence of insomnia only prove the point. Most of us today are suffering from the effects of chronic stress. So, what do we do? The trick isn't to avoid being stressed. That's almost impossible. What we need is to be able to suppress the fight-or-flight stress response whenever possible. To do this, we need the mineral magnesium. It is magnesium that turns off the fight-or-flight emergency system. Unfortunately, getting magnesium can be quite difficult. The problem with magnesium began in 1840, when a German scientist named Justus von Liebig discovered that if a farmer put the minerals nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium back into the soil, he could grow crops on the same piece of land over and over again without needing to rest the earth. This was a big discovery because for the previous 5,000 years farmers knew that if they planted their crops on the same soil more than a few times in a row the crops would die. In order to have healthy crops they needed to rotate their crops among several fields planting on some and letting others rest and regenerate. What von Liebig showed farmers was how to bypass this important process of regenerating the soil. What von Liebig discovered was artificial fertilizer. Now farmers could plant all of their fields all of the time. Productivity skyrocketed. Unfortunately, von Liebig did not include magnesium in his fertilizer mix. Thus, over time, both the soil and the plants grown in it became extremely magnesium deficient. Since the major source of magnesium in the human diet is from the plants we eat, we too have become magnesium deficient. Truly, you are what you eat, and a nation is only as vital as its soil. Thus, for generations, magnesium has been the single most deficient mineral in the human diet. As a result, there has been no way to put the brakes on our fight-or-flight system. Each generation has become more stressed than the previous one, as our magnesium levels have dropped year after year. There is, however, another source of easily absorbed magnesium, and that is metacardium suppositories. Metacardium contains both magnesium as well as potassium, to stimulate the rest and digest system. Using these two key minerals, we are able to both turn off the fight or flight system and stimulate the rest and digest system. If you find that you are more stressed than you'd like, consider using metacardium suppositories. Not only can they help to detoxify us, they can let our bodies know at a cellular level that there is no tiger. We live in a stressful world, but we don't have to live in a stressful body.